Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly bit of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. on those days for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to present the very colorful and fun painting Behind Lace by the artist David Driscoll. This is a small picture, but it's wanted you to notice the wavy images in the border at the top and bottom of the painting. The strips of color are also best viewed in this image. Now take a closer look. It seems to me that the vertical strips are painted on top of another image, one with lots of curves and movement. There's more white in the vertical strips also. Want to look at the title with me next? I can visualize lace, that open weave white stuff associated with fancy gowns and ladies' hankies, but what is behind lace? Behind refers to the culture of Bahá'í, one of the 26 states of Brazil. The Portuguese colonized the area and profited from agriculture, slavery, and ranching. Later ruled by Spain, Bahá'í became a state of the newly independent country of Brazil in 1823. These ladies are modeling a traditional behind costume. Note the abundant lace. The elaborate multi-layered dress is a reminder of Baha'i's colonial past. The headdress relates to many slaves' Afro-Islamic roots, where turbans were a part of the local dress. Traditionally white, contemporary costumes may be brightly colored. The garment's texture, weave, and colors once identified the religion, ethnic background, and social status of the wearer. Such costumes are now worn only during festivals and to lure tourists into shops. Let's look at that painting again. Although abstract, I can imagine the strips of white as lace. I can visualize the bright swirls of color under the strips as the swishing skirts of women in the market. And I am reminded of the sea that borders Baha'i with the blue-green borders and wavy lines in the painting. The artist, David Driscoll, is pictured here in his studio in Maine. He visited Brazil three times in the 80s. By that time, he was not just a recognized painter and printmaker, but an established scholar and curator. One of the leading authorities on the subject of African American art, he visited many other African countries and made art inspired by those travels also. A retrospective of his works was shown at the CAM in 2022. I didn't need to know much about this painting to enjoy its riot of color and movement, but I'm glad the artist gave us a means with the title to learn more about a new place and one of its traditions. You can see this painting in person in Gallery 230 at the Art Museum, along with other contemporary and modern artists.